right, hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. So today, I mean, I have a lot of these videos to get out, I have a lot of videos uh, to do, and hopefully by the time that I get to all of them, the spring promotion will come out, and then I can show you guys even more veto stuff when all that comes out. So I have the uh, EDC backpack, essentially is what it's called. Um, they have a few different colors. I've had the black one, and now I have the nice olive green color here. Uh, this is the uh, special edition HVAC Tactical Award Show version. So I'll show you around the bag. I really do like this green olive color. Um, I had the black one. I thought I liked or loved the black one. I think I like the green one even more. Gave the black one to my pops and then I'm rocking this. So I've already done a video on the black one. I'll, I'll show you the green one in its full, you know, entirety. And I'll show you a everyday loadout with the, uh, the new EDC utility insert tool panel. So this thing literally carries everything. So like I said, I have the uh, olive green one and I've shown how I use it for, I guess, business stuff. I have a work tablet, extra pa I used to carry extra paper in here and my iPad and stuff like that. Now that they came out with that EDC tool insert, this is a bag that I literally cannot be without. So it carries, it still carries my iPad and a work tablet so I can work out of these, this back area over here. Um, it still carries like pens and different things up in this area, um, some extra credit cards, you know, stuff like that. And then, uh, I have some, some accessories that I've put in here and this main big pouch area is actually going to carry some basic hand tools and, uh, some gear that I take with me. Now it's not... I'll weigh it. It's not super heavy, but it is packed out to the brim. So like I said, office supplies, tools, gear that I need every day, pens, extra little things that I've, I've uh, ended up needing, you know, day to day. So this literally goes with me everywhere, whether I'm in my work vehicle going to work, uh, after work, when I need to type up some stuff, invoicing, quoting, and then also the, uh, you know, just taking it with me. I got like sanitizer and different stuff on here that I just need on a daily basis. So um, before we get into it, I will remind you, though, that everything you see can be found in my tool link. I'm, I'm trying to keep it updated as best as I can. It's a little hard to do that um, when we're busy. But everything you see in here, because you're going to see a lot unpacked, can be found in the tool link ReliableHVACR.net. Also, any platform that I post on, you can find me on LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, uh, HVAC Nights is there. That's a group that I have with the HVAC guy and Cooling with Kraus. Fun time when we get together. And yeah, just check out the website. Now, if I don't want to carry this monstrosity, as maybe some of you guys might be looking at it, you know, I'll, I'll take something like this that just can be my... my uh, my book bag, my laptop bag, where I can carry just an iPad and a tablet, a few things in here, you know, pens, that sort of thing. Um, when I need to go super light, it's a green color as well, but um, in here, this is uh, for business, work, the YouTube stuff, the content stuff that I do, it's all in here. So, like I said, this is the uh, award show version so let me just start on the smallest pockets um this are my these are my magnetic sunglasses so if i ever need to go out i can just clip those on we have some battery banks so i always need to keep things charged i got two battery banks in this pouch right here so you got pockets stretchy pockets and all that. Like I said, I've shown it before if you guys want to check out that video. This side I got hand sanitizer and uh, you have these loops here that you can throw other things on. This side I try to keep it empty as much as I can. I think I have a, my hospital badge in here when I work at the hospital. 
but the reason I keep this empty is because we can take something like an energy drink and throw it out here, right? So smaller cans, monsters, you know, the main sizes of, of energy drinks, you can put them right out here, fits fine. There's no actual dedicated um, drink or bottle uh, holder, but this is what they intended is you could use this for this or use it for something else. Like the other side, I have my sunglasses, but that works well. If you need to carry anything bigger, this opens up and there's a little web in here. So if you had a big bottle, like a Yeti or something, you can actually have it there. It's gonna stick out a little bit, but that's their intention is to make it, I guess, modular and be able to do multiple things in one. If you don't carry bottles, you can use this just for whatever storage. Around back, lots of padding. This is a, uh, and I've shown you with the other one, if you have luggage, you can actually put this through the luggage handle. And then back here is where I keep, this just opens as a flap. So iPad, which I have the Pro, biggest one. And then my work um, tablet where I carry some paper and uh, things that I collect that need to be stored in there so they don't fly away. Here I have a mask or like a face shield for when it's cold out. Um, some little knickknacks in here. This is where I do keep a full keyboard. It's like a mini version. So I'll link this because I've been asked about it a lot since I started posting my setup online on the social media. So like uh, this is a full blown keyboard with a touchpad. It's Bluetooth, has a number pad because I really am used to doing it that way with all the request numbers, invoice numbers that I have to, to type in. So this hooks up to my iPad. It can also hook up to anything else because it is just straight Bluetooth. There's an on and off button and uh, you know, it folds up really nice, stores away and you can't even tell. So that's all that's in that pouch. This one, another big pouch, and I'm not even using everything in here. So I got pens and markers, I got some gum. I do have a wallet with some backup credit cards in there. My contractor's license is in there if I need it. I think my EPA is in there too. Um, these are pouches here. The little keychain holder here is where I keep my mailbox key. If you ever send me stickers or packages, that's where it ends up. Uh, there's another see-through area here that you can put stuff in. I just don't have anything to put in there right now. And then this little hidden compartment is where I have uh, like some checks, if I need to write out checks. Um, some other important little documents there, they're kind of hidden. Got two D-rings out here. You do have this hard shell where I used to keep my sunglasses, but now I tend to just use these little flat ones or attachment ones because I wear my glasses a lot of, uh, most of the time anyway. But you can totally put some sunglasses in here and they'll be pr protected or safety glasses if you want to use this for work. I have an extra uh, 360 camera that I use to film inconspicuously. You know, when I'm trying to be hands-free, this goes on my chest with a pendant and I can record some videos that way. Not the greatest quality. Uh, AirPods are up here so that they're protected. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get into the main compartment now. This is where all the magic happens. So pull it out. This is all stacked on each other. This is my DJI camera, which I'm filming with right now. So uh, extra accessories and all that. This is my setup for work. As far as like an action camera, some tripods, backup batteries, SD cards, uh, my wireless microphones, all that gets stored in here, kind of zip it up and it fits really nicely in there. Pull it out when I need it. Um, then got the neck accessory for the action camera there. I think that's it that's piled up. This is the beauty of the EDC insert. If you guys have not seen this, so we can pull it out. So you can totally just take advantage of a bigger uh, compartment here. And this is their uh, insert. It's a V-swap insert. I did get to help with this one. So I'll show you the other ones that I have. 
but essentially there's this little flap right here, magnetic, so it kind of holds it together in case you're worried about it moving around. You got two pockets right here. This is where I used to keep my iPad to keep it a little more in the center of the bag, but you have two pouches in here. It goes in the bottom pouch lip right here. So it slides in easily. It's, it's real easy to, to put in guys. You just, even with it loaded, kind of just undo the magnets, slide it in and it's secure, right? Then you have this handle, you're able to pull it out and then we can show you what I carry in the EDC. All right, so what's in my EDC? What do I carry as far as tools? Now you might be like, why are you carrying tools in the backpack? Why do you have it with you all the time? And some of you might actually understand. So I have kids. I have a car that would break down a lot. I just always have a reason or I'm, the old, I'm usually the one that has to fix things, right? Whether I'm with family, friends, I'm out, the car breaks down. Kids are always yelling, dad, I need batteries for my, for my toys or whatever it is, right? I always just have this next to me and I'm just reaching in, grabbing a screwdriver like this uh, Mega Press or Mega Pro uh, multi-bit screwdriver. So this even has for a Schrader, uh, if I need to, Schrader remover. And then it uh, has the uh, micro precision bits where I can get into the toys, replace batteries, um, whatnot. I have a adjustable wrench, always comes in handy. My Milwaukee uh, pliers, right? I ever need to take apart something, get a hold of something. We have these cool little uh, Kuwait strippers, which I don't know if I'm gonna keep in here or I'm actually gonna put them in a tool bag but they're wire strippers and then uh, flush cutters. Really cool combination. Uh, we also have a flashlight. It's just a cheap one from Walmart that I've had over time. Works really well. It is magnetic. It also has a hook and it's, it's always worked. It's the battery lasts a long time. Never had an issue with it. Uh, we have a old meter that I have the SC 53 by field piece. This thing is old. But if I need to check for voltage, it can do the job. This little DeWalt that's also magnetic has this big clip that I can just kind of slide and uh, put on one of these to hold it. Uh, I think that's it for this side. Have our Klein ratcheting uh, socket set with bits. So I have extra bits here if I need them. Uh, pass through ratchet, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this in here or I might try and get that Wii or wear a set. I know there's a set out there by one of them that does something similar, but it has, I think, uh, metric as well. This one is only standard. Yeah. So might have to get that. Um, but for now, if I can consolidate into one, right? Because right now I have this for standard and then I just have these, uh, these long socket set that I can also use with this because it takes sockets and uh, these are I believe quarter inch set you know so that works hand in hand when I need to work on my vehicle and then normally I have batteries in here too but as you can tell the kids have already <laughs> taken them all so there's a compartment here for batteries like I said when I'm changing something for the kids toys or maybe I have something that takes batteries I have batteries in here I got a uh, multi-tool pocket knife this has like so many things I got it off Amazon so it has like uh, you know some drivers some scissors I think it has pliers too yeah that's a cool little multi-tool right then we also have our little compact key set, multi kit, a multi uh, hex key. And uh, you know, that always comes in handy. And then a little precision screwdriver, which in case I need to get into a tight spot, this other one does the trick most of the time. And uh, yeah, that's it. So there's also these little pen pockets here, but I found that they kind of get in the way. They're not easy to get to. So I just carry, you know, all my pens up here and I'm good. The cool thing with this is uh, 
you can have it in there, right? Reach in there, grab your tools. There, a lot of them are easy to access, easy to get out and put back in. So I've never had an issue where I'm struggling with this thing. Like it's really easy to, to reach and uh, work out of. But if you, if you find that you're gonna be like at a tabletop for a while or you're working on your car and you want this by you and you don't want the backpack out there, you can just take it out and then kind of lay it next to you and you have all these uh, tools at your disposal, right? So I think it's really neat, really cool. I've actually been asked when I first showed the other backpack I had, like, that's really cool, but where am I supposed to put some tools in it, right? Everybody's like, Vito, it has to carry some tools. So they uh, were working on it and they finally have uh, this little insert where you can officially put tools in, right? store it nicely and uh, organize it. All right, so I think I'm okay showing this because someone else had posted and I've seen it before where they're like, oh, look at the process of the versions of this bag, right? So that is the final version here that you're gonna be able to buy. So what I, and I don't wanna toot my own horn, but what I kind of recommended to them was the magnetic clasp, right? And the handle, right? Super easy to take out. And this, in case you're worried about it shifting around, will secure it. And then it kind of just keeps this flap and this area flat. Whereas like I was thinking without the magnets, it would, it'd be easier to put in, right? Cause it's gonna always be open. But like over time, I thought this was gonna warp out. And then this handle worked out nicely. So we'll put that there. And these are the other ones. Uh, what they had sent to me, I believe first was, these so this one had a catch-all base but I found it very hard to take in and out and at the time I was not leaving the tools in there permanently so if you want to if you kind of know when you're going to need the tools or you want to take them out and use it for other things because at the time I was also using it as uh, luggage so like I said with that pass through in the back you can put it on your luggage and use this as the carry-on uh, not necessarily a personal item. It's a little bit too big and it depends on the airplane. Some of them you can get away with it. Some of them you can't. So I always assume that that's going to be a overhead carry on. So like taking this in and out was a pain in the ass. And uh, as you can see, there's no magnetic flap here. So and then no handle. They had D rings, but no handle. So this is one of them. I also didn't care for the uh, configuration here. They gave an extra smaller pouch and a medium pouch. Whereas on the new one, you get one big one. And then the rest of it was kind of similar. And this little one also was widened out. And then everything else stayed the same. And uh, this is, well, basically, this is the one that I have now as far as the layout. And uh, this is a, just another version because they were testing out different ones. So no magnets, no handle. But... Uh, would have been cool and black, blacked out too, right? That would have been cool for the, the carbon one, the blacked out one. Um, then we had a updated version where they added the magnets, right? This is the bottom base. Like I said, this was for me a pain in the ass to take in and out. So I didn't care for this one. I never used it. Um, also, like I said, the configuration was not to my liking. Here's the, uh, slimmer one with the magnets layout stayed the same basically this is where the the color that they ended up going with i told them i need a handle so i used one of these off another uh, veto bag you know they had the d-rings here where i could clip into it and then make it to where i can take it in and out but the handle was pretty hefty at that point so slowly but surely we were getting there and then, like I said, we ended up with this, which is fantastic. I like this little slim handle. It's not a, it's not a rubber grip handle, but uh, it, does, it does what it needs to do. It's permanently there. It's out of the way most of the time. It's, you're not going to notice it, and, but it's there when you need it. So really cool. You know me. I love magnets. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to show you the EDC insert by Vito Pro Pack. If you guys are like me and you, you need tools with you at all times, whether it's for you, you're working on a vehicle, you're working on something when you're not home, or your kids need 
you to fix something, change out batteries. That's what I use it a lot for. And then it carries all my office um, stuff like the iPad, the keyboard, uh, my work tablet. So I need this thing basically every day, everywhere. So it really is my everyday carry. And no, uh, the prototypes I do not give away before somebody asks. Uh, those are mementos, but they're essentially not official versions. But if you guys want to grab the official ADC insert, um, tool insert, you can probably find it on, or you can find it on vitapropack.com. You might be able to find it on True Tech Tools. I know they have the backpacks, but they're sold out. Those have been going like hotcakes. Also, Ben might have bought them all for the award show, but um, this is a, the perfect combination. I know it's a little bit cumbersome to carry a backpack of this size, but if it can carry everything, it's, it's not really a big issue. I got used to carrying it around because it carries tools. Like I said, I worked on my car out of this. I've had this for a while, so I worked out of my car, or worked on my car. I worked on kids' things, or toys, batteries, things like that, and uh, just little things around the house, or when I'm on the go, I'm always a person that is the one that knows how to fix something, right? So that takes care of that. Also, all my work stuff, my work tablet, my iPad, my keyboard, if I need to stop, because I'm usually out of town, uh, invoice and quote on the go, it does everything. So if you guys want to go check that out, like I said, go online, find it where you can. If I can, I'll link it in the description. And don't forget, check out ReliableHVACR.net. Tools, merch, everywhere I post on platforms, HVAC Nights, you can all find it in that link. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys.